Two U.S. generals under attack, not by al-Qaeda, but by members of Congress. The generals are hired to assess the danger at the U.S.-Mexico border. They were called to Congress to report their findings. Two Texas congressmen apparently didn't like the generals' assessment of the scene down at the border, so the congressmen went to their plan B and attacked the generals. I looked at your report. All I found was anecdotal evidence. Uh, I think if I would have done my dissertation or a, a report, I would have got an F. Don't you think anybody that would win this as a PhD would have gotten an F in their report? Well, not only have I done a PhD, I've done six books and about 300 scholarly articles, so I know a little bit about how to write. Uh, no, that's not how we did it. Wait, Washington, D.C. is at 23. We're here in Washington. Would you call Washington, D.C. a war zone? Well, uh, yeah, just a yes or no. Uh, the questions are never answered with yes or no. Well, okay, I'm asking you just I'm the, not going to answer a question with yes or no. I think what we're doing is okay, we're, thank you. We're, Let me, we're, we're talking by each other. You were paid $80,000 as former military uh, taxpayer dollars to make this report. Is that correct? We had five people work four months on this report, and I assure you, if you know what he makes in the Sir, I'm sorry, I, make, let me, I assure you. General, this without due respect, General. Oh, General well, the, well, the gentleman yield for a second. I, I, I do think these, these are respected generals. I believe we need and, to show them I, respect and allow them to answer the question. Okay, well, let me ask my question again. Were you paid $80,000, yes or no? Well, let me ask you, are you suggesting that this report had political or monetary motivation? If you are, sir, that is a shameful let me, comment. Let me, let me say something, General. General, General. Because my General, dedication to this country was General, based on 32 years of service. General. And Major General Bob Scales joins us. And let me be the first to apologize. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I have to say, you know, I'm really ashamed. I mean, I know, I know you very well. I know General McCaffrey very well. And you were called up to give information about your report, yeah. and um, I think it's scandalous the way you were treated. Well, uh, again, uh, Barry and I have served over 80 years in the military. We've both been shot at many times, and so this type Usually of, you expect the enemy, though. Well, <laughs> but but in, in this case, the, the, the shots were, were verbal. Uh, I think that the, the congressman was uh, really took it took a personal attack on both of us and, and impugned our integrity and our motive. And I think that's what Barry and I got most upset about. If you want to argue the but case you know, of I, I, But you know what? He didn't do it to me, but I'm embarrassed. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what this is? You know, you guys did a report. You went up there to tell the report that it's fair to ask you questions about it and to sort of, you know, basically said you're there for sale, said you do it for money, attacked you. And I, and I know you're, uh, you, you and I have been on a million times. I know all, I, all about your background, um, you know, and for him to talk about an F and I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was terrible. Yeah, it, it, it was embarrassing. And what we wanted to do was to, was to get our message across. We didn't want to go through some verbal uh, a sparring contest with Congress. And then, unfortunately, that's what it sort of devolved into. We wanted to t tell the tale about Mexican narco terrorists who have extended their reach into the United States, who have gang member infantrymen in a thousand different cities in this country who are, who are making somewhere between 28 and $36 billion a year off of this, and a terrorist groups that are beginning to act less like criminals and more like uh, insurgents, military insurgents. And this is a very big problem in our you country. You know, we have been down there. I have been warned when I was down there by the police down there. Don't let to know you're in the media when we're in South Texas. And, um, I, you know, I don't know how much is exaggerated by you know, what people tell us or whatever, but, but it's hard not to believe that it is a serious problem with an open border, a known civil yeah. war going on yeah. down there. The latest sort of terrorism thing with that Iran thing we heard right. about last week is that, you know, there's something there. I don't know the magnitude but to show the disrespect uh, of two people who had gone down there and studied with others is just extraordinary. Yeah, we had one guy uh, who testified with us, Dr. Mike Vickers, who was a veterinarian, a county of only 7,000 citizens. And over the years, he's uh, autopsied or discovered over 600 dead people in his county. Uh, this is not just incidental. These are, these are homicides. These are people who are left in the desert to die, many of them women who are sexually abused. I mean, this is not just incidental 
uh, uh, a conflict. This is a very, very serious affair, and most of it is occurring in the unpopulated counties along the Texas border, in those empty areas where the narco-terrorists are still in, able to invade our country. All right, the two congressmen who, who uh, were, I think, unbelievably rude, uh, one is from Laredo, one is from El Paso. Yeah. Why did they do that, do you think? What was their well, motive? Part of it's a Chamber of Commerce speech, you know. They wanted to emphasize that, uh, that crime is not so bad in their cities. And it's not! Because the, the narco terrorists are going into the empty spaces rather going to the cities. Right in the cities, okay. sure, and that would make sense. You in the military, you always go to where the enemy is weakest, and in this case, it's it's in the it's in those empty spaces between the cities, not in the cities, and that's the point we tried to make to them during the hearing. So maybe ignorance is a little bit could be, could be. anyway. All right, well, once again, I'm terribly sorry. I know your <laughs> reputation. I know you, and I know General McCaff McCaffrey's reputation. I'm very sorry. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Greta.